tutorial, we're going to review on how to properly prescribe corrective exercises for your patient using Posture Screen Mobile and with the integration of web exercises. So when we get to uh, finished with the postural analysis, we can go ahead and scroll through and we're presented with this uh, list of exercises now. The one thing that you should know is I'm not going to teach you the technique of chiropractic biophysics mirror image structural postural exercise prescription nor am I going to teach you how to, uh, what the indications or contraindications are to any of these exercises. That's for you to learn on your own as a practitioner. You should uh, attend uh, chiropractic biophysics seminars if you're interested in structural based rehab or uh, if you're based with functional rehab uh, protocols, you should already know how in, what the indications, contraindications are to um, these prescriptions. So looking at this, the way this works is I'm going to look at her posture here, okay? I notice that, sorry about that. Right, let me go back to the posture. I notice that her posture here in the thorax, she has a right translation with a left lateral flexion of her thorax. Her head is translated to her left, right, correct? You guys see that, and it's laterally flexed to her right. Um, down here on this exam, obviously her, she has anterior head carriage, thorax extension with some posterior translation, her anterior translation of her uh, pelvis relative to her feet, okay? Keeping that in mind, I'm gonna go ahead and let's go ahead and, and get back to the exercise. So, I'm gonna choose some structural and corrective exercise. So if I do the head uh, exercise, it asks me if I wanna use a credit, I'm going to first do anterior head um, carriage. I so you pick the posture that best matches it on the left, of thumbnail and the right would be the mirror image and we can manipulate the sets and reps if we want to I'm gonna make her do 15 reps of this okay and when we're done we go ahead and hit save now her head is also translated to um, her left side let's go ahead and we can we can add that as well too if we'd like to so let's scroll down and she has a left head translation okay so we can go ahead and add that one in as well as, let's add the trunk uh, exercise, which would be thorax relative to pelvis. So she has a left rib cage translation and a right lateral flexion. So she has this posture right here. Can you see that she's in that, that, that position? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and hit save and see how that matches. That left thumbnail is matching her posture. I didn't put the lateral flexion in uh, up here. I, you know, I'm just showing you how to do this. So you could put that in, but realistically, patients aren't going to be able to handle more than a couple exercises at first anyway. Um, one of the pelvic to feed exercises, she's anterior, so I could give her a leg lift. I could also prescribe corrective exercise functional wise. So if I wanted to strengthen her abdominal region, uh, one of the exercises that would be a perfect mirror image that I would do as a practitioner would be this. Now, obviously, this might be too advanced for her, but I'm just showing you how to prescribe these exercises. Her shoulders are rolled forward, so let's go ahead and do upper back, and let's go ahead and do these exercises here. And um, overall, I think that is a pretty good uh, description of what exercise I want to prescribe for my patient. Now, you can prescribe up to 20 exercises per credit for posture exercise per this exam, and you have up to 48 hours to change or edit that. Um, there's no need to edit past that point. Uh, if you do edit past that point, you'll be charged another credit. Um, quite simply, you're going to prescribe everything at one time, and then when you do a re-exam, you're going to do, be doing this from another exam, so you just use another credit then. What we'll do is we're going to go ahead and hit send. Now from this, obviously if I have the exam, I can show the exam here and I could email that to Cheryl, right? So I'm going to just show you what we do for the first time. We're going to go ahead and hit prescribe exercises. And it's going to generate the report and present you with this screen. If you get an error message, you could try again. But once you get this message, all you have to do is press open. And it's going to open what the patient is going to receive. Now the patient is going to get a blind, you're going to get a blind carbon copy of the link to this file. Okay, and the patient's also going to get this in their email. So the way this works is, if you wanted to print, you know, a summary, you could print a, a summary if you wanted to find a printer, and it's very easy. I have a, a printer right behind me that's a, a wireless specific printer, and I just hit select printer, finds a printer, and it's an Office Jet, 
and then I can hit print. Okay, so I'll go ahead and print that off. Um, but getting back to the, the prescription, if I wanted to see the exercise, all we have to do is hit view, and these are the, the exercises. We just go back to prescription. This is what your patient would get. And if we go ahead and hit some of these exercises, you'll see up top here that they have a streaming video available. Eventually, all the exercises will have this. Right now, most of the functional exercises have this, um, and we're recording the mirror image exercises as we go along. Okay, So if we tap that, the patient will be able to open up the mirror image exercise. Okay, But we're going to go ahead and go back and hit prescriptions. And if you want as well too, we could print this up and save it as a PDF um, if you would like to. Uh, very, very easy to do uh, from a desktop computer. Um, most computers do that natively. Alternatively, if I go back to posture screen, just for your records, if I wanted to do <clears throat> air print, I could have a listing of just the exercises that I prescribed. And then if I wanted to save this to Dropbox, I could go ahead and do so as well too. I could also print this off if I want to print this or save it in Dropbox. Uh, I can also upload prescribed exercises right to Dropbox as well too. So now that's been uploaded to Dropbox. Now Dropbox is a very handy tool uh, for moving your, your exercise or your postures. If I wanted to do the posture exercise, now they're uploaded already to Dropbox. So that way I can view them, print them, uh, sync them to my EMR. Okay, so that's how you prescribe the web exercise protocols for posture using Posture Screen Mobile. If you have any more questions, please feel free to email us at info at postureanalysis.com or info at postureco.com. Thank you.